You know, there are some people who mistakenly believe that although Christians have problems, they should never show their problems. They say, well, you know, a Christian should always put on a happy face, but they should never let other people know their problems. They shouldn't show to others that they have difficulty. And yet we pridefully believe that in voicing our difficulties and disappointments that we might reveal our spiritual immaturity to other believers. But here's what we fail to realize. You know that Paul is one of the most mature Christians on the face of the earth. But he had an abundance of trials and tribulations that he openly shared with others. He said in 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 8, For we do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, of our trouble which came to us in Asia, that we were burdened beyond measure, above strength, so that we despised even of life. Well, this guy had struggles. I mean, the pressure on his life was so bad that the Bible said that this spared even of life. And friends, that's what you call being transparent and placing yourself in a position of unbelievable vulnerability. But the popular misconception today is that a mature Christian has it all together and he's impervious to pain and he's always smiling. In truth, our smiles are often a thin veneer simply covering our problems and worries, we are reluctant to show for fear of being judged and rejected. And yet, sadly, most people on the inside hunger to be loved and to be accepted for who they are, weaknesses, flaws, and all. But what we need to realize is this, is that church is not a place for people who have their act together. In fact, the only person throughout history who has ever had his complete spiritual act together was Jesus Christ. It's been well said that the church is not a museum for saints, but a hospital for sinners. And friends, being authentic means being willing to reveal our true feelings and to admit to others that we are human. You know, when we begin to share with others our trials, our tribulations, our failures, and our struggles, you know, only then are we going to get some help because only then can people begin properly praying for you. Hey, let's remove that veneer, that thin veil that hides the true you. And may the Spirit of God take the Word of God and bless you today.